Hello everyone, it is Hillary with Creative Faith here and today I am walking through a Bible journaling process video in the end of the book of Luke. And as Easter is kind of um, coming up soon, I really wanted to do some reflecting on the death and resurrection of Jesus. And a song kept playing in my head this past week and this I'm not gonna like sing it <laughs> but the lyrics say there may be pain in the night but joy comes in the morning and I have been thinking about that a lot with Easter but then also um, just uh, in my own life too there was a member from our church who passed away recently after a two-year struggle with cancer and that has just been weighing heavy on my heart and mind and also um, it is coming up on the one-year anniversary of another friend's um, death of her murder of her husband and so I've just been thinking a lot about the pain and sadness that comes with death and I've been thinking about that you know on its own but also connected as Easter is coming um, but I love the other line in the song that I said there may be pain in the night but joy comes in the morning and I was thinking that's so true about Easter also you know the the disciples they didn't know that Jesus was gonna come back <laughs> um, and so just the pain and agony in the night but then you know when three days later he rose from the grave the joy that incredible joy that that came in the morning and I think that's just really important for us to remember. So I am making a watercolor background. You can see I tried to add some pink to it to match the washi tape I was going to use and it just didn't work so I ended up covering over it. <laughs> um, so I'm just layering watercolors. I have, you'll see in a, a little bit in the in the video, I've pulled two different Distress Oxides that I have and I was matching the colors with the Distress Oxides and so I have kind of a dark blue gray to represent the pain in the night and then a light green to represent the joy that comes in the morning. And I actually kind of had an um, to start with envisioned maybe a sunrise or something, then I decided to do these two colors and I love how it turned out. Um, you can see I journaled on the other side, I made a giant green cross and you can see it kind of bleeding through a little bit. Um, and so a lot of the, I don't hardly ever prep my pages with gesso or anything like that. And so I just kind of learned to work with the bleed through. But on this page, I kind of like that there's this subtle cross bleeding through. <laughs> I just think that makes a really cool impact. So I'm using um, the two different distress inks. So one of them is a stark blue. I'm using it on some textured stamps. I've been seeing a lot of people post about the store Tuesday morning. And I we have one close by my house. And so... I went and checked it out. I've been there before, but I found so many wonderful Bible journaling supplies. And so this texture stamp, I had actually looked at buying at Craft Warehouse um, probably a year ago maybe, um, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. And they had it, I think it was for like $3 at Tuesday morning and so I was just excited to have some fun textured stamps and also the alphabet stickers that I'm going to use later in my kit also came from Tuesday morning. Um, so that's a great option for very cheap craft supplies if you have one in your area. So that's kind of where the stamp came from and I just think it adds a little bit to the page. And then you all know I love washi tape. And so I am just kind of doing some layering of different colors of washi tapes. So I love using washi tape and so I had pulled some different black washi tapes that I had. Some of them were striped and 
Um, I just wanted to add some more texture to the top of the page and really create a dramatic difference between the top of this page and the bottom of this page. So really have a lot of dark elements on the top to represent the pain that comes in the night. And then I have some really bright, fun washi tape that I am putting on the bottom. And I just love the kind of pastel-y rainbow colors of the bottom washi tape. I thought they were really good for Easter. I got that in a set from Joanne's Fabrics. They had a ton of really cool washi tape and even though I know I don't need any, I had someone had given me a gift card for Christmas and so I've had a lot of fun playing with um, some of this new washi tape. Um, so I didn't even feel like I was spending money because it wasn't my own. <laughs> um, and so yeah, just using this colored washi tape to represent joy. And it was just as I was doing this page, praying for those people that I mentioned at the beginning of the video who are struggling with death and loss and grief and um, just praying that joy really would come for them. That, you know, this dark storm would pass <laughs> sometime and that they could find joy again and so it was just a really good um moment for me to use this page as my prayer for those people that god has just been putting so heavily on my heart lately so you guys will see that I am just using some scissors to trim off the excess washi tape that was sticking out over the edges of the page and then I take my precision pen from American Crafts. This is another um, Tuesday morning purchase actually and they come in a ton of different widths and these pens don't bleed through the Bible pages which I love and so I'm just using it to write out there may be pain in the night but and then I pull out these letter stickers that I also got from Tuesday morning and um, they are the Thickers brand which normally are pretty expensive but at Tuesday morning they're a lot more reasonable <laughs> but I just love the print and the color of these letters I think it matches the washi tape well and I really wanted joy to be the main part and stand out on this page. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Bible journaling process videos every Tuesday and Saturday. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also I just pray that if you are in a dark time that you would remember that joy comes in the morning and it is waiting just right around the corner. And to just be persistent um, in remembering that. And so I hope you have a wonderful Easter reflecting on the same truth. Bye!